Jake Jameson and Calvin McCord. The next two lads already raring to go. This is the first of uh, a couple of representatives from the Dune Valley ABC in the uh, Scottish representative side, Calvin McCord, whose hometown is Ayr on the west coast of Scotland. And uh, up against him, Jake Jameson, from the uh, Warrington uh, ABC. Ladies and gentlemen, the DVDs of this and all the contests of today can be purchased. You see the young lady at the back of the hall? Okay, I'm sure she'll sort it out for you. DVDs of all today's contests. Bob Gentlemen, if you think we'll have folks next week, John, next Sunday. I think so, Bill. I'll be there, I'll be back there. And the uh, final checks, just making sure the head guards are in place. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bank number 10, 47 kilogram contest, three two minute rounds between and introducing in the red corner, representing Waterton ABC, Merseyside and Cheshire, Jake Jameson. Introducing in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Calvin McCord. Jameson in the red, McCord in the blue. Jake Jameson, or JJ, as he likes to be known. Hoping to just uh, stop the rot here as far as uh, Merseyside and Cheshire are concerned, having lost uh, three contests in a row. A lovely little counter shot from Jake there in the middle, middle of that flurry. In between the Scotch boys' flurries. Certainly Calvin McCord is uh, throwing more punches in the early stages. That's not to say they're all hitting home. No, not at all. It's, 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 it's not quite landing at the moment. Neither lad's really found his range at this, this moment in time. Maybe a couple of shots each gone in. Jameson moving nicely around the ring. It's pretty much Jake's style. He, he tends to move around a little bit, look for openings, dart in, throw a shot, move away. He beat the Welsh champion a couple of weeks ago, adopting this style. It's a big strong boy in front of him, just popped him off and good little count, counter shots. Counter attacks as well. Certainly makes himself a, an elusive target because he's always on the move. Far more uh, static in the centre of the ring. Good shot there from the Scots. Right on the uh, first bell. On the bell at the end of the first round, rather. I say Jake's moving round quite well, but when he stops, he's actually launching his attacks then, and the Scottish boy just wait for Jake to stop then and beat him to the shot towards the end. Scottish boys, actually, fair reflection on the round, 5-3 in front. I think it was a fair reflection. Did score a couple of good ones towards the end of that round. He 
because as Jake's going to launch his attacks, he's actually stopping and it's letting him, the lad know he's coming and he's beating, just beating him to the shot at that point. Yeah, Chris Kane there, regional coach, just telling him to work behind his jab, stiffen his jab up a little bit, Jake, stop the lad coming in and going, in on the, going off the back of a good stiff jab. He's had 20 contests so far, Jake Jameson, and it's uh, Calvin McCord up to uh, 35. This will be 36 for him this afternoon. So he's uh, packed in a fair few bouts in his young 15 years. Shots from Jake, just and then he stayed still and got caught on the back, the back foot a little bit there. Pattern of the uh, second round, following the first really, with McCord taking centre ring and Jameson happy to work around the outside and back his movement to try and get out of the way where possible. Just switching to attack the body a little more in this second round. He needs to work a bit harder during the bout, Jake. Now he's just so there's not not much between him, but he just needs to work that. He wants to take this bout. He wants to win this bout. He's got to work a little bit harder. There we go. Good little four punch combo. Just getting beat slightly to the shot at times. Moves, change the patterns, change somewhat now. But Jake's starting to move forward a little bit. Looks like he's uh, trying to be a little bit more aggressive in his approach, but Cord is still finding a, a clever fight himself. There's not much being scored this round. It's, it's pretty tight. It's good defences actually from both lads. And they're not getting either of them are getting making the opponent work hard for a clean shot. So I'd be interested to see the score at the end of the round because there wasn't a lot scored. As like we said, it's still it's all it's it's all on the last round. It's uh, a, a, an even round. That round is actually three three points each, which gives the overall round eight points to six. Overall score eight to six. So it's all on the last round. If it pulls it out, can win this contest. Whoever wants it more most now, keeping the style, keeping the condition, and looking to throw the shots without being it themselves. Well, nobody went uh, hell for leather in that second, so they should both have a little bit of uh, gas left in the tank for this third. As you say, at this stage, it does sometimes just come down to desire. Yeah. Who wants it the most? Very much. I mean, um, Jake's Jake Jameson's granddad. He's actually a gentleman called Ronnie Thurston, who got a silver medal in the 1966 Commonwealth Games. Used to be my coach. Bit of boxing Ro in the blood, but, then. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, Ronnie used to be my coach when I was a kid. He's a cracking fella, and he is in the hall. Um, and he'll be enjoying this and be, be pleased with his grandson's performance. I just think he'll be living every moment of this. Once a boxer, always a boxer. So absolutely true. Once in your blood, it stays in. Oh, two lovely, three lovely shots from Jake. Yeah, good start to the round. Can he keep it up? Yeah, he's been nice and composed. He's not, he's not rushing, and that's what you want to see. Kids, two points behind. He doesn't have to go mad. He just he needs to be controlled and look to score those shots when he needs to throw them. Oh, lovely shot, lovely backhand counter, like over the top counter attack. So, but I reckon it's all even now. It's all on the last minute. Oh, he scored again. Good shot, Jake. Oh, he scored another one. Good boy. McCord coming back himself now, but he 
Had a rocky start to this uh, third round, that's for sure. Good shot, Jake. So let me get my emotions get away. We know Jake personally quite well, and he's a, a good kid. He's doing well. Good shot again. Took the counters there on the on the gloves. And this is going to be mighty close at the end of this uh, Def three rounder. Definitely, he's paced this really well, Jake Jameson, and he's, he's he's coming on really strong now towards the end of this bout, and he's paced it a bit of a slow start, but he's really he's come on all good lad again. I think that backhand's been the difference here in this contest. I really, really think he's uh, won this one now. Certainly been more aggressive in the third. Yeah. He finished very much on the front foot, having been on the back foot in the uh, opening round. Yeah, I'd like to. I think that's a Jake Jameson win. I think he's got that one. Just a couple of points. I would have thought he's just won by a couple of points, but. So we get the official notification. We don't really know, but um, he did every had a good night, good big last round there. Yeah, he certainly did what he what he had to. If you know, you're a couple of points behind. Didn't didn't go madly at it. Didn't wasn't too rash at the start of the round. Just tried to pick his man off. Gradually, uh, he did he did really turn well. Turn things around. Got me excited. That's good. It's impartiality with a small eye at the moment. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Show appreciation for both boxers, please. I always support the kids from my own town. With a judges' score of 13 12, the winner, a 47 kilogram winner, Jameson in the red corner. Yeah, about right. I said he'd be one or two points in front by the end, and there he was. So just turn it round with that big final round. Three points in his favour.